So, my name is Herman Trippel. I am from the Nox here. It's a German band. We are doing PC cases. And today we are on CES show and we are representing, uh, we are presenting our case on the Swift Tech booth. So, at first I'd like to introduce you to the case. It's a, generally, it's a noise isolated case, which uh, is completely uh, sealed with damping material inside. So, we just start with the front. In the front, you got an do upper door, which uh, you got noise isolation foam on top. You got two times fan control, reset button, of course, and it's easy to handle the closings for the ODD slots. And this can be closed as well. And here on the lower area, we got two sets of fan holders, which can be opened easily. And here you got some dust filters inside, which can be taken out as well. You can easily remove the fans. You got two fans in front of the case, right out of the box, close it like this, close it again, and then you can simply close the door. So then it's done here. Inside the case, we got this hardest drive cages, you can easily remove the upper ones, these bows, to get better airflow through the chassis. And you can unscrew this one, the one on the bottom. If you unscrew this one, you can attach a 240 millimeter fan uh, radiator in front of the case. These are the drawers, which are vibration isolated as well, and which fit to 3.5 and 2.5 drives. Here you got two or three, four, uh, five, dot to five ODD base. And this is detached now, but normally we got a slider here. That means if you take off this, this cages to mount the radiator right behind the intake fans, you can add the hardest drive cages here one by one to stock up like maybe for five or six hard drives. This depends, of course, of the space you got here away from the motherboard. You can also attach a radiator in front of cap on the case, like the people from Swift did here, you see. We got a set of different mounting holes so that you can attach a fan, two, two fans of 120 or 140 millimeter fans on top, or this radiator like here. And as you can see, you got a lot of space left, so you don't have any incompatibility issues with the motherboard. The 140 millimeter fan on the on the back side. There's also stock fan, also controlled by the fan controller, which is provided right out of the box. We got eight times PCI slots, and the width of the case in total is 220 millimeter. On top, we got the unique feature. We call it uh, the air chimney. That means to have a lean design, a clean design. It's closed like this, but if you like to attach fans or if you like to add a radiator, you can open it easily by sliding like this. And also the I.O. panel can be attached easily by just, put, uh, just pushing the panel. And it can also be easily closed like this again. Yeah, on the back you can see, now we got this, this uh, grommets to just uh, to add some tubes inside in, uh, in case you like to have an external, external components for your water cooling stuff, but it's also included this closed rubbers to cover it here, so it will be closed later on. And we got enough space for cable management beside this side tray, which is a side panel which we can show as well, and this is a kind of additional possibility to, to uh, get the air out or intake, air intake, even if it's closed here on top. So if we unscrew the side panel and take it off, we can show you easily that there's enough space to store the stables, the cables, even if you've got a large amount of cables to get everything in order. And here you can see that the panel got some bitumen for noise isolation against the vibration and the noise in total. Yeah, this is the case we developed for nearly a year and it's available in Europe since October in 2012 and this will be available in the United States mid of February approximately. Mm -hmm.